Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. We'll get you caught up on some temps from today. More or less about the same as yesterday. A little warming in a few spots. Just about 70 in Ben Lomond. That equals pretty much what they had yesterday. A little cooler, actually, along some spots down along the beaches. Low clouds didn't uh, really clear all the way out, and that's what we figured on. 63 Watsonville. Middle 70s, though. Morgan Hill and Gilroy, 68 in Hollister today. And middle 70s. Throughout the Salinas Valley, here in Salinas, we made it to 66 and around the peninsula. You had the gray and you had upper 50s in, P, in uh, Pebble Beach, uh, PG, uh, just a little bit warmer than that, 60. And a 66 here in Salinas, 69 Carmel Valley. So 60 is the general rule for today. Central Valley, nice strip of low 80s this afternoon. Middle 60s in Tahoe, 87 in Vegas. And it's still warm inland, upper 70s to low 80s throughout the Central Valley, low 60s in Tahoe and in 83 in Vegas, 80 in Palm Springs, 60s in San Diego. So, you know, if you're thinking go south, get warmer, not along the coast, that's not going to help you much. You got to really go inland away from the ocean. And you can see that strip of warming again, uh, the inland areas of the state did warm a few degrees today. And that's about the end of that because we got an area of low pressure that's headed our way. For now, it's all about the marine layer, which is hugging the coast. It's going to slide inland overnight tonight. It'll be in there for everybody tomorrow morning. Watch how the low clouds just go all the way down the Salinas Valley. They'll get up in the coastal hills too. Could be a little mist and drizzle in the morning, patchy fog. We burn it off, but we really don't get that clearing at the coast tomorrow. So figure on partly cloudy at best right at the ocean's edge. Inland valleys do see some sunshine. Now as we go through Thursday into Thursday evening, area of low pressure actually descends on it. This, this one's coming from inland, so there's more precipitation for the inland areas of the state than there is at the coast. And as it continues to back up on us, you notice some showers start to develop maybe overnight Friday night into the wee hours of Friday morning. So 4 a.m. Friday, there could be a few passing showers. Again, this is very light stuff. Could be mixed with mist and drizzle from the marine layer too. By Friday night into Saturday, we should be mostly done with this. So it looks like Thursday night into early Friday morning is our best shot at that. 48 to 52 for the overnight lows, coastal low clouds, and a lot of gray for the morning. Temperatures right around 50 for most of us. So that's pretty typical with the overcast skies. 60 to 66 tomorrow at the coast. Pretty much what you had today, probably even a little less sunshine. The valleys and hills should clear out later in the afternoon, mid-60s to middle 70s, which is pretty seasonable for this time of year. Low 60s, though, San Francisco. Low 70s, San Jose, about the same in Los Gatos. Mid 60s to upper 60s to around 70 in the Santa Cruz Mountains and about a 66 in Santa Cruz, 60 in Aptos. Watsonville, low 60s. And 60s turn into 70s in the Santa Clara Valley, 74 Morgan Hill, 68 for Hollister, 70s still holding one more day in the Salinas Valley, mid 70s in King City. 66 here in Salinas and more 60s to go around for the peninsula tomorrow. So low 60s should pretty much do it. 69 in Carmel Valley. The KSBW 8-day forecast. We get that one system out of the way, that slight chance of a shower on Friday. And then Saturday into Sunday, a little more sunshine. We got a nice looking day for Mother's Day with the coastal areas being mostly in the 60s to low 70s with uh, afternoon sunshine. The valleys will also see a mix of sun and clouds over the next four days with a slight chance of a shower on Friday. Mother's Day looking good. And next week, you know, looks like a mix of sun and clouds with temperatures mostly in the 60s and 70s. So if you're looking for some 80s or something warmer than that, we're not doing that anytime it's soon. It's not going to happen, Yeah, and at the end of next week into the following weekend, there may be some more shower chances, so we'll be watching that. All right, just keep yeah. on going. Not well, a huge amount of water that you're expecting. No, but it's just, even if we get a little bit this time of year. Always nice. Yeah, something. <laughs>